see well, why I know. So the, he's uh, calls he calls this deck Esper Horizons, hmm. and I've never seen this de this deck before. We see uh, Stoneforge Mystic, Snapcaster, Mages, Vendelian, Clicks, Restoration Angel, which already makes me happy. Adjacent Mind Sculptor, and then the normal stuff: Swords of Plowshares, uh, Brainstorm, Stifle. He hmm. loves Stifle. I know that. He, he he. Do you remember New Horizons? The yes. band. He 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 was one of the people that was really behind that. So that's but He's also why. got Thought Seizes, Inquisitions, Vindicates. Basically, straight-up control deck around Stoneforge Mystic. Now, on the other side of the screen, we have Jesse Hampton. He's playing Reanimator. Jesse, you may recognize his name because mm -hmm. he almost won Rookie of the Year. Yeah, we can we can go down. Yeah, have a, I'll, we can I'll, have I'll a keep start. describing we can, we can Jesse as, as they start playing. And Jesse oh. was a, a, basically a lock for Rookie of the Year on the Pro Tour until. <laughs> Alexander and Hain won and it. And his miraculous win. Yeah, he in, won uh, Pro Tour Averson Restored and, and captured that Rookie of the Year because he also had a second place at a GP. Now, uh, but Jesse had a top eight in Philadelphia, uh, a top 16, I believe, in, um, in Hawaii. He has really burst onto the scene with some really nice high-profile results. And uh, we're going to get a chance to see him play Reanimator, which is a deck we've been talking about all weekend but haven't actually seen yet. Now, I think... Is it possible these names are switched because this no. looks... Okay, this, this that... is, oh, th the names are switched because okay. they, Jesse uh, is not married. <laughs> okay, there you go. So names and yes. deck lists are switched. They it's, are. Uh, it's clearly Esper. I, I thought it was Esper Stoneblade when I first looked at the list. I think that no. most people would call it Esper Stoneblade, but it is, uh, you know, Esper Horizons. I'm the reason he calls it Horizons, mm. I think it's because he runs the Force Stifle, and like, okay. I think he thinks that that makes it a thing. I don't know. We can so, ask. Uh, I'll ask him later. But that is obviously... Um, Kyle Body on the uh, Bodie. on the uh, mm -hmm. Bodie, Kyle yep. Bodie yep. on the right with the I Esper know, Esper Stone it's Blade, Esper Horizons because it's spelled Body, mm -hmm. but the it word body, body is spelled Bodie. <laughs> that's true. That but is very they just strange. for some reason, yeah, I don't know. So Jesse is on Reanimator. Okay, yes. this makes yep, now it now we've up. got it lined up the right way. I was gonna say, why is Reanimator running Tundra? And. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Call it Esper Horizons. It's Esper Horizons. Because he, it actually he says specifically. not Stoneblade, please, on it. And when you ask nicely. It's a different deck. You know, there's Thank a Gristlebrand in the yard. What a nice guy. Maybe can we get the judge to ask him yeah. to move his graveyard in the, in the view? So we that, definitely uh, need to see that. This is, yeah. This yeah, is critical, because I'm relevant. assuming that it was in an Entomb that got the Gristlebrand there. Yeah, it okay. is. So, you can so see we see a Fetchland. Fetch can instant. you move it over even a little more? I, I know we're being picky, but this is very important. Um, like, he could just reanimate right here, try to go through a force of will. And there's an animate dead. All right, so an animate dead is going to be targeting Grizzlebrand, and we're going to see the force of will come down for Kyle. He says, no, sir. Now, that won't be the last time that Jesse tries to reanimate Grizzlebrand this game. I see an Archon of, is it Justice? What is that card A Blazing called? Archon? Blazing Archon, thank you. Uh, in Jesse's hand, along with another Grizzlebrand, which is, that's pretty bad. Like, that is definitely not what you want to see from the Rian. Uh, and I see an Elishnorn, too? Well, he draw Jeez. is he drawing all his He's threats? He's just drawing all his now, threats. does he play Show and Tell? No. Uh, uh, I don't want to say that, actually. He might. He I, plays I, it I, in the board, but... It's uh, in the board, okay. Not in the main. Yeah, the, I've seen a list from Jesse, but... He might have changed it since I la I've last seen it. What is that? Oh, he can just discard them. Hey. Yeah, careful study. Careful study. That's draw two, discard two, right? Yes. It's, it's it is, just uh, like faith, uh, faithless looting. Without flashback. Exactly. Right. So, so we're going to see two huge monsters hit the bin, probably. Yeah, he um, he draws into Brainstorm and Ponder, I believe. All right. Now, we still can't see those. I mean, I'm assuming it was Elishnorn and, and the other, the Archon. Yeah, it is. So Elishnorn and Archon hit the bin. And, and here comes a batter skull from Kyle. Yep. And this is, I think this is a, a interesting thing that I've noticed is so, the, you know, a deck like Esper Horizons here can flash in a batter skull and it's done it very cheap and that's considered powerful. But when you look at what Jesse Hampton's actually doing, it's insane. Graveyard looks good, thanks. You know, when you look at what Jesse's doing, it just goes over the top of stuff like playing a batter skull. Like, Jesse's deck does not care about yeah, a batter skull. Yeah, he's like, oh, skull. you have a 4-4 lifelink? Oh, here's mm. a 7-7 seven, seven lifelink. Yeah. Also, draw 7. Right. Like, that's a cute little germ token yeah. you have down there. Right. Is this 
Is this Stoneforge attacking? I think it is. It's, or no. Okay, so here's some mana happening here. So I guess that there would be a equipment following shortly. What is going on here? Well, we know the Stoneforge is tapped and the lands are tapped. So We're not quite sure what that's indicating. All right, so... Uh, he's, he attacked with Stoneforge and played another one. Okay. And he also attacked with Batterskull. Yeah. So That's he's taken five from that, the creatures though. and one from his fetch. Why? Well, because why not play the Stoneforge first, get an equipment, and use the Stoneforge to flash in the, the you know, Stoneforge He probably didn't have two. enough mana to equip it. Well, maybe not equip it, but, you know, get it into play. Yeah, he can do that next turn. He gets one extra damage, I guess. I guess it so represents Jesse, one extra damage, and if he's not going to use the mana next turn, then uh -huh. sure. Jesse finds a second ponder. He's also got a brainstorm. He's looking. Like he's just going to go for a brainstorm here. One, two, three, and you know he's looking for a reanimation spell. I mean, this is, the, there's one right there. Uh, animate dead, and yep. uh, he also has a thought seize. It looks like in his hand. I also see a bloodstained mire, which is going to shuffle away anything that he doesn't want here. I believe he has another in Tomb as well, but I, I that's not even anything he's so worried about. I uh, probably just wants to... Well, you might want to hold on to it, actually, right? Yeah. I don't think that you could rely on Kyle having no, some way to blow he's up gonna the He's going to shuffle graveyard. away the, uh, the Tomb here. Oh, he is? Okay. Yeah, he just put it on top with the Gristlebrand. And yeah, because you, you wouldn't assume that Kyle would have a way to uh, get rid of the graveyard in game one, right? Yeah, I think that's fair. That's a fair assessment. Although with Reanimator being such a big part of the metagame, you never know. We did see uh, Bajuka Bog main out of I mean, of, do you uh, see the Maverick. land that Jesse has on his side of the board? He does have Caracas. Right. He doesn't play white. Right? Right. I it's, mean, it's because like of he's just like, it's and just show and the tell. mirror. Yeah. yeah. It's like Reanimator, show and tell, uh, things like that. And so he's going to go ahead and play Animate Dead number two. Is this one going to resolve? So here's one interesting little interaction, and this might have been what Kyle was thinking. Look at Jesse's life total. He's 14, at 14. Yeah. That's very important because now he he still has he. So now he cannot use Grizzlebrand twice. Right. Now I don't think he'd be doing that anyway. But he, I agree. but that that option is gone. And also, if he had drawn Reanimate, he could Reanimate Grizzlebrand for eight, but then he couldn't use him at all. Yeah. You know. So being like at 16, he could do that, but not here. I see. You're talking about why he attacked with the, uh, the Stoneforge. Right. right. Potentially. Right. No, that's a good point. That's yeah. Because there's actually a huge difference between, between... one activation and two. Of or one line. and zero. Yeah, well, for sure. Now, the Stoneforge didn't take him off of one and zero in this case. <laughs> All right. And so Jesse a, uh, has not used Grizzlebrand yet. Uh, I think he's he's definitely prepared for thinking about a Swords of Plowshares. Yeah, Kyle has a Swords of Plowshares mm -hmm. in hand. And we're probably going to see a Grizzlebrand activation and then a Force of Will fight. All right, Swords of Plowshares that. So he's got another careful study in his hand and two ponders. So Grizzlebrand away. Number five, come on up to the side of this area. Standard one of us. One, two, five. three, four. Five, six, ridiculous, that card. Grizzled yeah. brand. So Jesse goes to six here to hopefully draw an answer to a Swords to Plowshares. So he needs to draw a Force of Will, I think, is the only thing that he can draw, right? He needs to draw a Double Force because Kyle has one. Yeah. I think he just bricked. I don't think he hit any. I don't think he did either. Can't see perfectly, but I don't see anything that looks like a force. Yeah, you know, it's Therese so like that bright red orange. <laughs> Resolves. Now, Jesse is going to gain uh, six life, go back up to 12. Right? Wouldn't he gain seven? Well, he, it had uh, Anime Dead. Oh, on. you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anime Dead. So go out back up to 12. He's going to take six, so he's on a, on a one-turn clock if he can't put something down onto the battlefield here. Now, he did draw seven there. Now, since it wasn't a force of will, mm -hmm. it, could, it could be another reanimate spell. Yeah, he had to draw something there. They yeah, if, if it wasn't Force of Wills, it was something. I know he's got a bunch of ponders, a careful study. Oh, oh dagger. Nice, just rubbing. Well, <laughs> the, the good, what we know is that wouldn't have been enough because That's Kyle true. could have forced. That is true. <laughs> but still, you know when you're in Jesse's seat, you're like, oh, come on. 
Yeah, you're like, really? <laughs> I mean, I drew seven. Like, what do you want from right. me, right? Oh, we want you to draw eight. Yeah. Clearly. Next card's probably forced, too. That's just a yeah, now that would real be. burn. All right, so he taps his underground seat. Ponder incoming. All right, is it force of will? One. No. Two. <laughs> yes. There's another one. <laughs> they were, they and were another reanimate spell. So this is actually a very, very good ponder, although he's going to need those cards in his hand. So he's going to need a land. He's probably going to want a careful study, right? So he can careful study away stuff that he doesn't need because he wants mm -hmm. all the force of wills and blue spells in his hand plus the reanimate. And right yeah. now he's only going to get one of them from the ponder. So he's going to need another blue source to make that all happen, though. No, he doesn't have access to Grizzlebrand because that was exiled from Swords. So in his yard, he's got Blazing Archon and Elish Norn as current uh, targets. Ah, truth. So plays a Swamp. He does have another Grizzlebrand in he hand. He does, yes. but that doesn't but get him anywhere. Yeah, he needs to. He needs to careful study right now. Until he's able to careful that's... study, which he played the Swamp. So, right, so but it looks like he's going to maybe entomb here. Did he draw? Another, I mean, it's very likely he drew another Entomb. Maybe he Entombs. He's got four Gristlebrand in the deck. He didn't have a blue source in his hand or a fetch land? Duress you? Thought sees you. Thought sees you. Wow. Okay. Going to four yeah. here. This is, yeah. But it's going to get... It's going to get the... Oh, that force can't do anything anyway. That's kind of no. cool. I didn't realize Kyle but, but didn't he, have access. He still but he obviously, may have had access to five Yeah, mana. he still takes it here, though. Does Kyle only have four lands? Yes. In One, that case... Two, three, four. In that case, that first force would have, have uh, resolved. All right, I so Blazing Archon access. comes in. Creatures cannot attack you, right? Or is it flying? What is it? Just creatures? I don't know. Um, creatures cannot attack. Well, I'm Him. pretty th sure Choi's putting it up on the screen, too. I feel like every time I, I bring up a card. Well, you can look at it, it while yeah, our uh, viewers Archon. read it, right? No, I believe there it's it just it's Peacekeaper, right? Creatures yeah. can't attack. No, yeah, it's, it's not, not Peacekeeper. Yeah. I mean, it's very <laughs> similar to Peacekeeper. A lot of cards are similar. I don't think that's similar. <laughs> Creatures can't attack you. It's that one sided Peacekeeper, which is why it costs, yeah. you know, almost five times as much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, seriously. No, I. I mean, they both have the text, creatures cannot attack. That's true. <laughs> There's only three extra letters. That's right. If that's how we uh, decided how similar cards were, then yeah. How I mean, many, I mean, I'm just saying, it's keeping his opponent from attacking him. Truth. But, but at the same time, he's going to be able to beat down with it. Yes. So he's got double force of will, at least he should have double force yeah, of will in his hand. He's got four life. So he's at a reasonable life total. What is this? What is that? Inquisition? It is Inquisition, so we are going to get to see Jesse's Three, hand. four, five, six, seven cards, so he's got... Swamp, uh, Tide Spout, Tyrant, is that what yep, that one's yep, called? Yep, yep, that's yeah. Tide Spout, Tyrant, yep, and he's I know got Force of Will, Ponder, Ponder, ponder Daze, and a Careful Study. Yeah, tide, tide Spout, Tyrant is a card that I have. Yes, I had it in my hand when you we did. were playing the Commander deck, yes. Yeah, so you know what that does in Commander? It has a learn combo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whenever you play a spell, return something. To, yeah, uh, so like you can do it with uh, Mana War mm -hmm. and just return all their stuff because you can keep returning your own <laughs> Mana War. Pretty sweet. So Tides Found Tyrant, Alluren, Mana War. Play Mana War. Oh, wow. Return Mana War. Play Mana War. Return Mana War. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know why he's running it here. Like, I don't, I, I don't know what combo or what situation he has. But, I mean, it's whenever you play a spell, right? Yeah, so, he's got a lot of cheap spells, Brainstorms, yeah, Days, Careful Study, Ponder, you get, see him Get right annoying there. stuff off the board or whatever. I'm, I can ask Jesse later for, for why he, he's running that particular card. So the Careful Study bites it. There is an Equip incoming, although that's just to use up his mana. Cause yeah, creatures why not? can't attack, so pass back to, uh, to Jesse. All right, so Jesse has stabilized here, and now he's going to look for a way to win the game, although as the board sits, he can just attack with a Blazing Archon over and over and over and protect it with his Force of Wills. Yeah, currently that's his, uh, his best uh, plan. Now, there's one Jace the Mind Sculptor in Kyle Bodie's list. That would work. Yeah, so that, would, that, would, that would get the Force of Will, uh -huh. I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it just is like thing, like, so Swords of Plowshares would, would nab a Force of Will, as would uh, Jace. Is this another ponder from Jesse here? It is, and he is pondering whether or not to, uh, how he wants to set this up. Draw. He is going to draw. It's another, another force of will. Okay. It is. That's, I yeah. mean, that's the plan. So plan Protect. A, right? Yeah. This Protect is a, the this queen. is a land for Kyle. I mean, sure, play another Stone Forge. Why not?
Yep, Kyle passes back. Archon on taps. Jesse draws, I believe, a careful, careful study. study. Yep. Looks like he's and just going to play yeah, it. Yeah, play careful so, study. So Jesse has had like three turns now to yeah. carefully craft his plan. Mm -hmm. And draws Iona. He's he going to be able to Iona. discard and lock Kyle out of white. White, probably. That's what I would assume. I mean, it still does leave Jace, but he's got yeah, you more have plows. Yeah, forces. Right. Um, although, yeah, and White does that too. Uh, there's three Snapcaster mages. Vindicate. It also locks Vindicate yep. out. Now, I don't. I don't think that you would assume that Jesse knows that Kyle's running a Vindicate, but you know. Still, will name White most likely. Yeah. So Archon again gets in. It's. We're going to see that over and over again. I think that was Kyle's turn. It was just a draw go, like very quickly, because it looked like Archon just tapped, untapped, mm -hmm. like within seconds. Ponder from Jesse. So he's going to keep. Or is I mean, he just needs to make sure he keeps enough cards in his hand so that he can just force a will at will. Also, a blue source would be nice here. And he does have one. And right he has one now, because he can just hard cast force a will at this point. You know, just run. The Saves him that extra, extra one life, too. Uh, the one life, but also just that he'll run, like, if exactly. he has to force using his force. Yeah. And uh, swing and um, pass the turn, I think. Yeah, so Is he's that? just hitting him for four and four and four and four. He's got him four turns away from death here. Yeah, it's kind of interesting how that Archon is a 5-6, but it becomes a 4-6 because of... Uh, Animate. Because of the animate dead, and you know, Kyle was at 25 when this all started, so it could have been. It's the difference between five turns and seven turns. Yeah. Kyle has a huge, free. Huge like, animate dead is giving him two extra turns. All right, so Jesse's drawn days, which isn't going to do anything in and of itself, but it's a great pitch target for force. He also drew reanimate, which isn't going to do anything, but sit there in Jesse's hand or be brainstormed away. Yeah. Or careful studied away. That is a. Uh, plus, he's going to reanimate like a one drop. Okay, there's another land for Jesse. Is it a Bloodstained Mire? Couldn't quite see. So Kyle Bodie with three Stoneforge Mystics, a Batter Skull, a Germ, and a Jite on the board. And they're all useless. Can't do anything because Blazing Archon on Jesse's side of the board is keeping Kyle from attacking. Uh, but it's doing a lot of attacking on its own. So it is swinging for four every turn since it's enchanted by uh, Animate Dead. And, so Jesse's um, at two. Yeah, Jesse now He can only two, actually do one Force of Will. <laughs> yeah. Uh, didn't, but, I mean, yeah, it didn't end up mattering. Didn't end up mattering. But Kyle scoops him up there. But Jesse uh, has to be careful to manage his life total in that, in that down the stretch, right, so that he can, you know, let's say that uh, Kyle's being very patient and mm -hmm. he's, you know, building up his hand to, to go plow, 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 or, you know, something like that. He's got I mean, make he played sure a 7-7 seven, seven lifelinker. What do you want him to do? <laughs> uh, that is what I want him to do, actually. That's true. Play yeah. the, uh, so we've seen, um, we saw Crystal Brand there. Uh, and then... My favorite. Yeah, that, I think, it's funny how Crystal Brand came down, drew him seven cards, but that was it. It was like a whole lot of work for drawing seven cards, but it was enough to get him to the tools to keep, uh, to play something like Blazing Archon. Yeah, he, he, he didn't hit what he needed to hit, or what he really wanted to hit off that initial draw seven, uh -huh. but he was able to draw the tools to win the game from that point on. I mean, like we were saying, okay, if you didn't draw a Force of Will there, what did you draw? Well, it was Careful Study, it was Anime Dead, it was a bunch of stuff to, uh, to get that blazing right. archon yeah, into yeah. play. It's like you had to have something You got to have there. something. There, those I mean, cards aren't just, yeah. you know. And even, even the nothings blanks. in his deck are more ponders and more, yeah. you know, more ways, ways to, to draw, dig. Right. Yeah. So here's is a card. Is that in somebody's deck? This is in Kyle's deck. And this is something oh. that I've noticed. It's been picking up steam lately, very much because of Gristlebrand. That uh, could the, get very interesting. The card I'm talking about is Gilded Drake. And uh, Gilded Drake is a 3-3 for a blue and one. Uh, it's flying. Yep. Woo, 3-3 three, three flyer for two. That sounds awesome. Actually, that is awesome. That's really awesome. Uh, when I first it, picked that. But the problem is you have to give it to your opponent, so that's pretty bad. Would not play that one. No? Well, what if you exchanged control of something like 
a gristle brand. So you give them the three three flyer, but you get gristle brand. I would do that. Okay, well that's that, that's so the if I can pay one and a blue Drake. to steal gristle brand, I would do it. Right, but you got to pay one and a blue and a three three flyer. Mm -hmm. So uh, so there we've it is been on seeing the this pop. It. Is this a good answer to these reanimated decks? I mean, a, he plays gristle brand, and you're like gilded Drake, and he's like. Draw seven, force it. Right, it could could be. I mean, it's it's just, but it is another answer, another way to force them to uh, to deal with it. Uh, and sometimes you get a gristle brand. I mean, we saw zealous conscripts in standard mm -hmm. doing it yeah. for significantly more mana. Well, and and also, you know, one of the things that we saw in this game was that we had gristle brand. He died. Mm -hmm. What gristle brand? I mean, in my opinion, gristle brand did win that game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know Drawing what you mean. seven, right? But gristle brand didn't actually hit anybody. Mm -hmm. It was a blazing archon, and Gilded Drake could have stolen that, and, and that would have turned. It's everything like, hey, what are you gonna do? Like, because Jesse's at two. Like, reanimate, tear that up. That's yeah, not coming into play. Exactly, reanimate. He needs nothing. to get something else going on. So, so, and now speaking of reanimate, Kyle has two copies in his sideboard. No way. <laughs> for exactly, I assume, this matchup, well, where you're like, that's oh, you're gonna throw cool guys in your graveyard? Wow, that's a really cute deck. I'll take Yoink. your Gristle Brand. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take your Iona and say, you know, black or something. What are you gonna well, do, draw a whole bunch of car counter spells? Right. And what are you gonna do? So, does he have anything that's gonna, if, if, if Jesse can only cast blue spells, can't, he can't reanimate, he has no removal. Like, what does he, he do? He can look at more black and blue spells. He can just look spells. at a whole bunch of spells yeah. he can't cast. Yeah. He can't cast Gristlebrand, even if he got up to that amount of mana. Which is possible as well. Right. Uh, he um, can cast Tidespout Tyrant. There you go. And then cast something to... For to, five blue, yeah. blue, blue. Yeah, so for eight mana. Well, he has to get up to eight mana. And then cast another spell to even get the Iona back. You know, get the yeah. Iona off the board. Which yeah. is, I'm just saying. Like, well, now, I will say, I'm, I'm, Jesse has thought of this. Yes. He's got a Caracas in his deck. He does. We just saw just that. a one-off Caracas, right? Which is, play, a, yeah. which is a risk, but I mean, it certainly uh, pays off when it does. You know, Jesse, I, I talked to him in between rounds. I said, hey, how's your, how's your tournament going? He said, well, my first opponent put a Grizzlebrand into his graveyard on turn one. So Jesse's got his seven cards, and he just watches his opponent, you know, careful study or entomb or whatever, and he put a Grizzlebrand and say, go. And Jesse mm. goes, swamp, reanimate that. <laughs> it's just like, you know, I mean, the guy couldn't have known that mm -hmm. Jesse was on Reanimator, but like at the same time, like that's nice, right? When you're yeah, in like, Jesse's seat, you're just like, hey, thanks, five gristle brands. Yeah, yeah. and, and <laughs> this one's and already in the in the yard. So yeah, yeah. thanks for doing the work. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll. So Jesse that. won that game. Uh, really? Yes. After St taking taking eight from a Reanimate, wow. Yeah, stole stole that game. He, so. so he paid what? He it cost him fifteen life and a card. To draw seven cards and ha end up with a seven-seven yeah, life linker and a seven-seven life link. I think that seems reasonable. I, I don't know Legacy. if fair is the right word, but reasonable Le probably. <laughs> <laughs> Not reasonable either. Yeah. This is legacy. Yeah, and I like this. This feels this to me. This matchup and this these decks feel very legacy to me. Yeah, it's 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 a lot of fun to watch and oh, I love knowing it. like we're we're looking at their sideboards and we're seeing like all right, so Gilded Drake. You see, uh, you know, the two copies of Reanimate. Uh, he's got Surgical Extraction, like you said. I mean, so, that you know, does I'm going to deal with, your, um, with all your Animate deads. Um, okay, that's good to know. The player, players needed a short break. Yeah. You guys can just, you know, come up with your own wild reasons as to why they needed a short break, but they'll be right back. Yeah. Uh, but but <laughs> I, I like the Surgical Extraction just yeah. in the sense that, like, I normally don't like that card very much. Mm -hmm. I think it gets played in standard a little bit too much. I think people overrate those type of cards mm -hmm. generally. But here... But I like it here because... Yeah. Now, I don't know if extirpate is better or not, but either way, I like those type of cards because what ends up happening is you get extra value. They spend it in two. Mm -hmm. That's a card. Mm -hmm. They get Grizzlebrand in their yard or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they spend reanimate or right. animate or, dead. Or, yeah. And they're like, target that. And then you get to take it away. So you get immediate two for one off of that. Mm -hmm. And you get some value down the line where like they can't entomb for Grizzlebrand again. You, know, you get to see their gone. hand. You get to see their hand in every card they have. And uh, this is something I just loved when I was playing Blue, Black, and Standard. I played a little bit of Surgical Extraction with Snapcaster. Yeah, like, and, and that's a great... It's, it's a, It feels very Cabal Therapy because you're like, extract that, mm -hmm. look at your hand. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I get to see that. And then, you know what, Snapcaster, take. I know what's in your hand now. Yeah. I'm going to hit... Oh, you had, you had two of something in your hand and you're tapped out. And all you and, need you know, to complete that entire transaction is a colorless and a blue... 
uh, with, yeah. for the Snapcaster. Exactly. Because like, it's you free, free, free again. Track. Yeah. yeah and, and especially against that's... Jesse's deck, I don't think that the life loss is really that relevant. Like, you might it, decrease your clock by a turn by mm. spending the four life on it, but frankly, when Jesse's deck does what it wants to do, like you're gonna have a very tough time beating that anyway. Exactly. So although pretty I, exciting I, board. Yeah, uh, and, and Kyle's deck, I mean it's got swords of plowshares. That's good against a lot of Jesse's stuff. Yeah, I mean he it just he, is. He's in pretty good shape here. I mean like not Grizzlebrand, but against like Blazing Archon, yeah, get that out of here. Right. Um I, Iona actually does Jesse have Iona? Well, yeah, we saw Iona. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, to, Jesse has Iona. Yard, yeah. So, you know, Iona is good against that if, if, if Jesse hasn't named White already. Um, yeah, you know, it, it can bounce uh, all of the, the non-legendary, or kill all the non-legendary stuff very easily as well. Um, you know, because it's like Grizzlebrand and then Iona, and then, and then as far as I know... Now, this is kind of neat. Three Jace the Mind Sculptor in Jesse's deck, in the Reanimator deck. So just, you know, hey, I'm... I'm what does that mean? Is that a transformative? It's a little like, transformative. He's got three. He's got two Vendillion click, three Jace the Mind Sculptor. Gavin Verhey just stole water from us. Uh, <laughs> he's nice. We'll find, let him have it. That's fine. I just find it funny. I mean, he, he doesn't get come, like comes a banana or an apple slice, but a water he can water, have. Water, okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think that's kind of cool. He's got two Vendillion click, three Jace the Mind Sculptor. He can kind of transform into a pseudo Blue -black control, control deck. Control yeah. It's not a very strong transformation, but uh, you know, but it's something, and it's it changes the dynamic. If his opponent is entirely fighting his graveyard and trying to deal with, you know, gristle brands and things, he can. He's like, did you just play Vendillion Click? Oh my gosh, Jace! You know what what's happening here? I mean, yeah. maybe it's also a nice way to fight opposing Jaces too. Like sure, uh, which is Jace tends to be a nice answer to a lot of these big guys too. Just bounce it. Yep. You, you know, I get three bounces yeah. Yeah, while you try to find yeah. three reanimators. Seal of unsummon times three. Yeah, like that. unsummon on, on, your, uh, on your guy. I mean, you need to find another reanimator spe reanimate spell, you know? All right, we're All right. back to the action here. So Kyle and his Esper Horizons list is going to just insta-crack a polluted delta. Get some dual land. Looks like a tundra this time. Tundra. Yep. And Jesse now. 25 minutes left in the round, approximately. So about half the round is over. Yeah. Thought sees from Jesse. Now we right get right off the bat. Potentially see Kyle's hand, but I think oh, he's just going to. I think this is going to get pierced. Oh, oh it's going to get dazed. Okay. And we thought the same thing. Yeah, I saw the spell pierce. I assumed he was using it, but days. I mean, days spell is pierce is more powerful later in the game, so mm -hmm. he probably wanted to just get value from his days. So replays the tundra, passes back. Of note here, Jesse does not lose the two life because... Yeah, the thoughts these did not actually resolve. Yeah. Right. All right, Island so Jesse has Jesse. double basics here. He's not opening himself up to Wasteland, and we see a Duress. So turn one, thought sees, turn two, Duress, and he's just going to keep pounding on Kyle's hand here. I guess Kyle just kind of just, just kind of has to use his uh, spell pierce here. Yeah, I think I use a spell pierce here just because... Like otherwise, you're giving him a lot of information. Yeah, and, and you're he gonna can lose just take the it spell anyway. anyway, right? Yeah. I mean, there might be something else he wants to protect as well. Exactly. He draws he a, a force, force of will here. So. He's got a source of plowshares, no other lands. Well, the cat's out of the bag. And Kyle Jesse, I see a show and tell in Jesse's hand. I don't okay. know if he has a something to play though. Is that a grizzle brand at the very back? No, I don't think it is. It's an entomb to me. It's an entomb. Okay. Jesse's going to play a flooded strand and survey his options. All right, so there's a brainstorm. I, I bet you we'll see a brainstorm very, very shortly here. He just says go. No land. Kyle looks like he's just going to pass the turn back. And Jesse's going to brainstorm now. And there's that brainstorm. Kyle is... Uh Hurting so, for land. I mean, so that's just... does Kyle have a force? I think he does, but he's, he does. he's just going to let this one resolve. 
this yeah. is where my this is where I have no idea. Like I don't like. Do you ever force a will a brainstorm? Are Sometimes, there, if you're really, if, you know, if you're in good is, shape to win a game, in my opinion, you know, and your you your opponent is locked. digging for answers and uh -huh. they go brainstorm, you're just like, no, I'm not gonna let you okay. brainstorm to find an answer to okay. me killing you. Yeah, I just have no idea. Like this is where I'd I'd ask some of my friends who play a lot more Legacy for for thoughts on this. I mean, and I'd probably not, get five different answers, but at least I could form my own opinion, <laughs> which I currently just don't have. I think it's it's not terrible to force a brainstorm uh, in this particular situation. I don't think I think Kyle's more apt to say I'm going to save my force for something that's going to threaten me. You know. Like I mean, it feels like Jesse's got a you know full set of ponders and brainstorms. Like he's going to be yeah. able to resolve these types of exactly. Spells. So you you force that when he's like, oh, I'll just cast something else. I'll cast a second brainstorm. Or I'll cast a ponder here. Like you're gonna I'm gonna dig. Uh, you know, I want to save my force of will for your show and tell or your, uh, you know, reanimation spell. Okay, Swamp Go. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, Swamp Go. And uh, Kyle has now found an island and he's just going to throw a stone forge in there. And uh, I'm assuming that that's going to resolve. I, I, I don't so know well. how much Jesse cares about stone forge. Like, Jesse, Kyle, you know, has to use up a bunch of mana in two. We're gonna get Grizzlebrand. If Jesse has Force of Will backup, uh, I, well, actually, I don't know what Jesse's gonna get, but I'm assuming Grizzlebrand. And if he does, I know he's also got an anime dead in his hand. So if he can back it up with a Force of Will, he should be able to resolve it. He looked through his entire library there. Yeah, uh, I see him pull. Uh, he like pulled Grizzle a up front. Grizzle up front, but he might be thinking about other things that he wants to do here. There's Entomb. A card Entomb that was looks so awful. What, you don't like the artwork? Oh, no, no, I like the artwork. I just mean, like, when you read it, you're like, oh, yeah. what? Like, I don't want to spend a whole card on this. <laughs> yeah, when it was in Odyssey. Okay, he did get Grizzlebrand. Does that look like Grizzlebrand to you? That looks like Grizzlebrand to me, Maybe buddy. Maybe we can get the, the graveyard moved slightly, about three or four inches to Jesse's left. All right. Bless you. Grizzlebrand, Grizzlebrand incoming. Bless you again. Gesund I was able to turn the uh, the mic off there while I sneezed. I'm getting used to these things. So there's Animate Dead, and there's Force of Will from Kyle. And that's going to get that, snap forced back. Yeah. And by snap, I mean Jesse's going to think about it for a while. <laughs> I was thinking maybe Jesse doesn't actually have the other Force. No, it looks like I that. thought he had a Force. He does. Oh, he does. What is, that's interesting. Oh, Force of Will's on the stack. Okay, see, I oh, thought I saw him pass the turn. That's what I thought. I thought but he was like I, that's that must result. have been not what that was. So he's going to have to remove Why is show Jesse and tell? thinking about it? I wonder. I wonder maybe he doesn't want to remove show and tell. That's my oh. guess. He, doesn't want to, he has to exile. That's his only blue card. And he can get. He can't get dazed here, though. He just has to go for it, I think. Yeah, I agree with that. Because if Crystal Brand comes in, he's at 20. Jesse's yeah. at 20. Yeah, I think you, if you can um, get this Crystal Brand in, it's going to be yeah, big. Daze doesn't matter. Now, But he needs. But I, I, so if I'm Jesse, I do it right now. And the reason being is that Kyle does play Stifles. That's a very good point. You know, and, and like you, you don't want to get stifled on one of the triggers because you still have to pay the seven yeah, life as part of the cost. Yeah, that'd be pretty awful. There we hey, go. Drew, now we're talking days. business. Those are the only two blue cards, though. So yeah, uh, well, the days. Actually, the days is straight up counter here in a lot of positions You're as right. well. You're right. Kyle's so set He's back on so that. He's so bad. To he could do it again. Jesse's a gambler. He's not afraid to uh, do it, but I don't think there's any point. He discards a second Grizzlebrand, which is interesting given that we know what Kyle has. Yeah, he could reanimate a Grizzlebrand. He has a reanimate in his hand, I believe. Legend him. Doesn't he have one in his he hand? He does. There it is. Oh, man. Wait, is that Robert Bliss artwork? I was just, I think that's who did the artwork for no idea. Uh, reanimate. Yes, Robert Bliss. Uh, do we know him? Or? No, he was uh, he's an artist back in the, like the late 90s. He hasn't really done a lot of artwork since oh, then. See. But Jason Felix, the artist that's right. here. Swords of Plowshares. Oh, he knows him? No, yeah, we've been oh, we talking about him Oh, is this the guy that we were morning. talking about? You and I were talking about? Uh, Rubber Bliss? The dude that did the covers for the thing? No, 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 no. That's no, a different, different guy. Okay. Artist, yeah. right. So there's Reanimate right there. Uh, Robert Bliss. He's one of my favorite artists. He apparently works on movies now, though. Like, oh, okay. He does a lot of movie stuff. So Moving Swords to Plowshares gets that force of will. Removing ponder, so uh, he had a ponder. Apparently, I didn't even know. I thought his only oh, okay. blue card was the dazed. And uh, we're gonna see a relic of progenitus come down, and that's gonna get countered by dazed, and he's gonna pay for it. Like no. Yeah, like no. no might as well just pay here, right? 
I don't know if, I mean, do you care about Relic in that spot? Like, you've got a Grizzle brand. You can fill up your hand in your graveyard again in, at will. All right. Old Uncle Grizzle is going to hit for uh, six here, putting Jesse back up to 17. So he's got, like, an easy cushion to yeah. do one more Grizzle brand activation, and he can at do least, another if yeah. it comes down to it. I think you keep the, the Relic off the table because it could just do too much damage like it, it's one thing if it was just going to happen right now like okay i lose a gristle brand that's really yeah. all he would lose but uh i think it's a matter of like if he loses cutting off the, options later the yeah. gristle brand on board then he's going to really want to he's going to want that gristle brand but even even it just more feels like so, he could just refill his graveyard like he can he can also just draw another counter spell instead of days he's got gristle brand right i mean he, he's just using a daze uh-huh it's like all he i think I i'm think just think more concerned about like getting a force of will and not having anything to pitch i mean he can cast it at this point but yeah i, I don't i don't mind that i guess when but. when you have nearly unlimited resources mm -hmm. you just use what you've got right blazing archon comes in and that's so, actually just going to be a clock Right? Yeah. It's just, I mean, now he's hitting for 10. I mean, Grizzlebrand is a pretty good clock, too. And Grizzlebrand's going to draw seven more. Jace and the Mind Sculptor, a, a couple of uh, reanimates. Wow. So Jesse but no, I, but, entombs Blazing Archon. And he's going to Thought Seize as well. Animates dead. Animate deads. So he's definitely just going to take the uh, reanimate here. What else does he have? I think Jesse has this thing pretty well locked up. Yeah, I think so, too. Scoop him uh, up. So does Kyle. It looks like Kyle agreed with me. Yeah, so... He's, ha he's had enough. I don't think Jesse noticed that, <laughs> that Kyle had conceded. <laughs> yeah, Jesse's right like, wait, away. what happened? What did, I, what did I cast? So, that was fun. That was good. I, you know... Hey, welcome back to the booth. I'm Marshall. That's Joey. Hey, guys. We're uh, in Seattle. We are. We're in Seattle I watching like Seattle. Uh, 